Well, I've seen a lot of people with this. Not a lot of people, but on YouTube, there's a lot of people that have this charger. It's the Teen Tenergy TB6B. And a lot of people have questions, especially how to set the different lithium polymer batteries. And also, I had a question myself, but I was able to figure it out. Uh, a quick review of everything it comes with. It comes with the EC3 Connect. They call it an octopus, but it actually has only seven leads. If you were to, to count the extra leads that you can solder on your own connector, it does come with eight actual wires, but it only comes with one. Those are sets of two, three four five six seven you get a Deans an EC3 uh, which can also fit uh, if you have venom packs that have the uh, multiple uh, sockets so you can put onto the tips and change them uh, this can also fit the XT60 uh, Tamiya, Mini Tamiya, Futaba, and JST. And it also comes with the balance board that just plugs into that. You can also just plug your batteries directly into it. You don't have to actually use the balance board as long as you know that all the way to the top is the ground and, well, the negative, and then all the others are the cells so say you're going to put in a three cell you would just use the first four prongs so you could take this out if you wanted but i choose to leave it in because it gives me a little more space when i go into my lipo bag uh, it also comes with a 50 watt power supply and alligator clips that you can plug into a, a, ba a car battery for in the field charging I actually have a Absorb Glass Matte Marine battery that I do that with. That's a hell of a battery. It, uh, three of them, three of the batteries that I have can actually support a 15,000 watt sound system. That's what my buddy got them for. Okay, first thing first. Let's get to the... first thing that's probably going to come up is program select lipo battery okay if you're going to want to change from lipo to life or uh lylon you're going to want to go to program li lipo voltage type click that and then you go down 3.3 is life 3.6 is lilo Lylon also so that's how you go from the difference so if I go to life press enter now if I go back and I try to go to lipo life actually comes up so that's how you do that so now I'm gonna go back I don't have any life or lilo bat lylon batteries uh, Nickel Metal Hydride and NICADs uh, are very similar, but Nickel Metal Hydride can take a lot more uh, abuse. I mean, you really don't want to abuse your batteries, but people do. Uh, with a LiPo battery, you never want to go below 3 volts, but say you have a 2600 milliamp hour battery if you're curious how much you're going you want to charge it at you would go to lipo you don't want to do lipo charge you want to do lipo balance right now it's set up for a 2s i don't have a battery plugged in but this is just for hypothetical reasons so at 0.1 amp that would be a 100 milliamp hour battery at 1c charge rate if you had a 2c charge rate you could uh, uh, charge at 200 milliamps and at 3c you could churn charge at 300 milliamp same with like a 2200 milliamp hour battery if it's 2c you can charge at 4.4 
3C you can charge a 6.6, .6, but this only has a max output of 5 watts. 50, I mean 5, 5 amps. See it says 5 watts right there, but that's actually supposed to be A for 5 amps. Charge max 50 watts, also 5 amps. Uh, it's zero, uh, you basically come up with how many watts it is by uh, having the amount of ohms resistance in the battery itself. So, say you have a 2200 milliamp hour battery. You set it to 2.2 and then select which one it is. Uh, this thing actually says on the side 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S, but this cannot charge one, uh, one cell batteries. Even though there are some racing, uh, the castle makes a Mamba Max Pro that is uh, available to run on a uh, one cell lipo battery which is uh 3.7 volts 4.2 completely charged so that's how you would do that the problem that i ran into was say you want to do a nickel metal hydride uh if you when you go into it it says man i assume that that meant manual so i took one of the batteries out of one of my traxxas nitro chargers i took the 1800 7.2 volt six cell and since i had others i was just seeing okay is it manual or is it automatic it is automatic that was one big question i had but i could not find an answer online in the manual and they are closed but i needed to charge a battery uh very decent charger uh, i love the fact that just like it's nothing compared to my uh, B6 AC, uh, my IMAX by Sky RC, I believe it is, uh, because it doesn't have. With this, you have to go into the program to go from lipo to lylon to life, but with the uh, Sky RC. It just has everything in it, so you just go from the different ones instead of having to change the voltage. It also has a battery meter and a ohm tester, which is the resist resistance of the cells. This does not have either of those. This is simply a charger. But the thing I really do like about it is it is a very small charger. And it does work off 12 volts. And it works well. I have vo uh, charged. The reason I got this is I got an X Max, and the anybody who has has an X Max or any larger vehicle like an Axial, uh, what is that vehicle? The Axial Yeti XL. You have to use two batteries for it. Uh, if you want to run on 6S. Same with the uh, X Max, especially if you're using large uh, large capacity batteries. In my X Max, I'm using two 7,500 milliamp hour batteries. 3S, so I'm running 6S at 7,500 milliamps. 30C, so I have a constant discharge of 225 amps, but it has a uh, peak discharge of, I believe, 350 or 375. I don't remember exactly. But that's the reason I got this charger because I only had one other uh, lipo charger, and it was for when I got my very first RC vehicle uh, three years ago in February. The remote control bug has bitten me, and I have become addicted. <laughs> I have over uh, fifteen, about fifteen vehicles now. Including my drones, my airplanes, everything all together. I have 15 or 16 vehicles, 10 ground vehicles, 2 drones, no, 3 drones, a uh, airplane, uh, a DX7S transmitter, uh, several transmitters. I've got two Spectrums right 
down there. See that those are the black ones. Those are to control those two low C's on the outside. And then that gray one is a low C at 27 megahertz for the brushed version. The two outside are the brushless. But this video is about this. Uh, it's a very nice charger. It's like I said, it's very small, very you stick it in your pocket. And if you had a place to put the octopus cable or if you just needed one cable uh like say you only use one type of connector like me i only use uh xt60s because they work on everything i've used even on the xmax where it says constant rating of 80 amps the xt60 says it's rated for only 60 amps well i have two xt60 connectors on xmax and they don't even get warm a lot of people say that they get hot and they melt. Well, that's because you did a bad job soldering and there's too much resistance. So, the uh, resistance from the plug to the wire is causing a lot of heat to build up, causing the plug to melt. But, that's basically some questions that are answered about this charger. Uh, so, a lot of people that may come across a nickel metal hydride that says man or mn it's not manual it is automatic i know in the book it says that it's supposed to come up automatic and say automatic but it doesn't i tested it myself i just did and it is 100 percent automatic you just plug it in uh for the traxxas uh wand for these wand starters they actually use the Tamiya plug and you can't change those because they are soldered directly to that board in there down here, down at this end. And you can see, I charged it and it works. The motor light's coming on. There's no, uh, there's no glow plug circuit in here at the moment, but you can see it has four. Uh, this is for the motor, this is for the glow plug. But overall, I've been pretty happy with this charger. I've only had it maybe a week, not even that. But good charger. Uh, max, uh, like I said, max discharge is 5 amps or 50 watts. But anybody got any questions, uh, comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, even though I have been in the hobby for only three years I have learned pretty much all there is to learn except for a couple things like uh, adding autopilot to a uh, airplane because I'm more into drones uh, and quadcopters things like that quadcopters hexacopters octocopters uh, eventually I'm going to get a helicopter uh, I'm really wanting a uh, Saab uh, what was that called? I can't remember off the top of my head at the moment. But it's got a weird name. And they actually have a special edition 500 series out right now. That's uh, in the color of the American flag. But you can see right there it has a DC input from 11 to 18 volts. Uh, you use the mode and the this one and this one to go between everything and then you want once, once you go into everything you use this to go back and forth and then this to, uh, this is basically enter and then you hold it down to start battery check well there is no battery but that's how you work this charger a lot of people said when i bought it if you're looking to get this charger be prepared to read a manual it's not hard to use at all uh, it's just when it comes to changing the voltage from lipo to lylon to life batteries you have to go into the program setup and actually change the voltage at what the batteries are actually rated for so that's it for this video again till next time peace